Hi folks, it's Jen from opensource.com bringing you the top five articles this week, October 3rd. I'm coming to you from Red Hat Tower in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm giving you a little bit of the view of downtown Raleigh. I tried to bring you a video from outside today in downtown Raleigh, but it's a little too breezy and um, it's also very loud. There's a lot of construction going on. So here we are inside with a little view. All right, let's get started on the top five. At number five, we have learn how to support women in open source. Joshua Holm gives readers a tangible way they can learn how to better support women in open source. We all know that women are underrepresented as developers in open source, but why does it matter and what can we do about it? The Ada Initiative gives us a lesson through their Ally Skills Workshop. Check out Joshua's article to watch the video or sign up for the course. At number four, we have Open Source Goes Corporate at Samsung. Ben Pearson interviews Guy Martin, a senior strategist for the Open Source Group at Samsung. This article is part of our series interviewing speakers of the All Things Open conference prior to the event. The conference is in its second year and will be held again this year at the Raleigh Convention Center in North Carolina. Guy Martin tells us in this interview about his four-year mission to establish open source leadership at Samsung in order to support the broad range of products they create that are built on open source software. At number three, we have the On the Hunt for the Right Open Source Project. Matt Messine was ready to jump into a new open source project and wrote this article as a guide for others when looking for the right open source project to join. Matt, join, Matt shares some websites and processes for how to assess your skills and goals, including what role to consider your day job might play in the decision. Next, Matt will follow up with his pick of a few open source projects that might be a good fit for him, finishing off with the one he chooses. At number two, Facebook has over 200 open source projects on GitHub. Natish Tiwari interviews James Pierce, head of open source at Facebook, for our All Things Open speaker interview series this week. There's a lot of open source going on over at Facebook you may not have known about, like their portfolio of over 200 open source projects on GitHub. James also understands what it takes to be a vital part of a healthy open source community. Find out how this social media giant does it and what he'll share at the conference this year in this exclusive interview. At number one, we have this is what system administration in the open looks like. Jason Baker, OpenSource.com's OpenStack aficionado, interviews Elizabeth Joseph, an automation and tools engineer at HP. Elizabeth tells us what it's like to be a sysadmin working in the open on the OpenStack infrastructure team. Her team is a group of remote systems administrators that do all of their work online in the open while running a totally open source infrastructure built for OpenStack development. So yeah, kind of awesome. At the All Things Open conference on October 22nd, Elizabeth will take more about what their code review system is like and how they safely get contributions from the OpenStack community. That's our top five this week. Join me again next week. Check out the article every Sunday and see all of the links to the articles in the notes below. Thanks so much. See ya.